Over to the sounder. The first thing I'll come up with is basically saying, don't rely on me as your primary source of navigation, which basically means you've got to look at the window while you're driving as well. But a lot of these will have very similar software. So I'm going to spend a few minutes explaining what this particular unit has. This is what they call a uh, Elite 7 FS. It's a new model for where we are at the moment. And they're fantastic. So what they have is a zoom in and zoom out. So we can go anywhere in Australia and zoom in on a certain area. And the more we zoom in, the more detail we'll get. Now, when we zoom in on certain areas, you'll also see these cameras in a lot of spots. This camera just here. And if we push that camera and then push the icon and then push image, that will actually show us what that area looks like. So if we've never been there before, we can get on our GPS in the garage, sit there and have a look at that area by zooming out. Let's say we're gonna to go to Hastings as an example, which is in Western Port Bay. We'll zoom out a little bit, go to that area, we'll zoom in on it with our keypad here. Now, you'll see quite often, depending on the setup, there'll be different colors. So yellow is land, green is dead shallow water, Dark blue is normally dead shallow to about two meters of water. The light blue in this instance will be sort of two to three meters up to about 10 meters. And anything over 10 meters will be white. So we're an icon on the screen, we're going along and whenever, we, whenever we're moving, we're leaving a trail. So as we're driving along, it's leaving a dotted line of where we started from and you can see where we've ended up. So if we wanted to go home, we had no idea where we were follow the dotted line back and that would show us where we are. In this instance, we're gonna zoom in a bit more and we're gonna again, we're gonna see there's cameras everywhere. So this camera here, never been here before, push that Western Port channel, yes please, image, and that will give me an idea of what I'm looking at. Hastings is over the other side, so we're gonna go over here. This is the entrance to Hastings. So in this instance, we can see it's all green, so it's super shallow with a channel with the green and red markers that take us through. So it's really cool that we can go anywhere in Australia, zoom out, pick wherever we want to go, go somewhere completely random, just here, zoom in, and have a look at this area, and understand if we're going there, what we're up against before we head to this sort of area. So again, Moon Island, never been here before, camera, boom, image, you can see what we're up against. So that's our GPS. Now, with this scrolling around that we're doing, we're using what we call the cursor. So the cursor means we can move the screen anywhere we wanna go. But if we wanna be back to where the boat currently is, there's a touch screen here that says clear cursor. Very important you know that one because when you push that, it'll take us back to the boat. So here we are, this is us, which is the icon, which is the boat. And this line is where we've been. So we started here. We went down here and it's left the line. So we know if we wanted to go home, we could turn around and follow that line back. If we touch the screen, these lines come up, our cursor's on, and now we're not gonna follow the boat. The boat could be anywhere. Clear cursor, we're back to the middle. So with these touch screens, you do have to be aware that if you touch the screen and move it around a little bit, you have to clear the cursor to keep the boat into the middle. By pushing this keypad here, this is our pages button. Most units will have that and I'll break down all the screens that you can look at and um, show you how to get to them. So Solnar, which is our fish finder as an example. With our fish finder, um, this point right here, the top right hand corner of the screen, that's the back of the boat. That's where the fish finder is getting its information from. So if we were stopped and dropped the sinker, we could watch it sink down. This down, this will be our history. So what I might do is I might actually quickly put this on a simulator so we can get a bit of an idea of what we'd be looking at, which will load up now. Cool, we'll let that load up. Now while that's loading, these are our dominant screens as a single screen. So if we want single GPS, we just push that, GPS comes up. Back to the pages button. Single fish finder, we push that, fish finder will come up. If we wanted to split the screen with something, we could hold this icon down and it'll give us options to split it with. So if we want the fish finder with the GPS, there it is, they're split together. 
if we wanted to make more than two screens, we push the pages button and we can make our own prefixed ones. So by pushing this plus button, we can go sonar, side scan, chart as an example, and I want chart to be the dominant screen, drag it across. When I push save, that's gonna keep that screen just here. That's always gonna be there. And I can edit these as I go along. But we can preset our own popular favorite screens here and our solid screens of one only thing will be just here. Um, other than that, that's a good start for your fish finder to learn how to use it. I'm gonna put it on simulator, that's right. Simulator, turn on retail mode. So this is the sort of mode that you would see if you went to the shop and they were gonna show you how the, the features work. Okay, so let's just turn that back right down a little bit. There we go. So we have Sonar. This is the back of the boat. This is the depth of the water. And this bottom bit here is the bottom. So this is showing us that we're in 14 meters of water that our depth graphs on the side here, which is just on 14 meters. That's the back of the boat. We're heading in this direction to the right of the screen. And this is our history. So you'll learn more about your particular fish finder as time goes along. And you'll understand the yellow on the bottom there will vary in depth to show you the surface of the bottom. Arches will come up as fish and you'll understand what your fish finder does. And a great way to learn about your fish finder is a lot of this information is now on YouTube. So if you buy a Garmin 84 series, type in Garmin 84 on YouTube, and you'll see a lot of Garmin related test reviews information that you'll learn about your particular unit. But if you know how to change the screens by pushing the button, going to chart, whatever it is, pushing the button, going to down scan, so all these different screens, and there'll be certain screens that you'll just use more commonly than others. Um, to turn the unit off, power button, and then we wanna turn the unit off with the power here. 